Hi, welcome to another video about Calamari's installer. And we are talking about partitioning this time. So this manual partitioning thing. And we've um, done already some things and we're going to another possibility. Let's start first by cleaning up everything. So this is your hard disk visually up here and has two partitions. Last video was one with a root and with a swap. So now I'm going to make one with root, home, and swap. So make it consistently more and more complex. And everything starts with a nice clean sweep. Let's clean our partition table. Master boot record is the one I've chosen because I'm VirtualBox. And in VirtualBox, you need to set it if you want to have MBR or GPT. So that's good. And everything is gone. That's the first uh, step. That's an interesting step maybe some of you are skipping it means clean desk okay and now we start afresh and we say let's take our um let's take what do we take mm, okay let's talk about for 10 gig i have i only have 20 gig but the numbers are not important it's just dragging along how much you have right if you have four terabyte okay fine but you just drag it so let's say this guy, we give him the root partition. Okay, that's it. The rest of the free space, create. Let's make this time a home partition. So how much do we keep over for the swap? Something like this. Wait, let me look at the numbers here. Root. Uh, seven is that enough let's uh, edit it again that's possible as well so you see that let's give this one 10 well it's just numbers huh? but just this 10 free space which gives me 10 here okay let's five let's take five five so 50 50 come on more or less and this guy is going to be my home directory which I personally do not recommend. Why? Okay. So that's done. That's done. And on the free space. Why do I not recommend it? Um, what am I doing? I'm going to X4 Linux swap. Okay. So this is the swap. So there's no need to have any partition here. Mount point, I mean. So that's okay. So we have three things if you'd like to have it like this. Now, let's maybe first kick it in action in gear and then tell you why. And go and go. Next. And go, my friend. Oh, I did not read the text that it provides that's going to make three partitions and all that. But never mind. You can stop the video. So why not home partitions? If you, there can be issues for user permissions. That's one thing. So we get people in on the forum, social media. I can, can't get to my home partition. That's one. Two, anything that you install, that, that we can show, anything you install, it's going to leave a mark on your PC. It's going to stay marks, give marks here. It's going to stay, uh, give marks here. It will probably also give a uh, file folders, etc. That's what I mean with mark in those guys. And this might conflict. Certainly if you're changing from, from March to Manjaro, from March to Ubuntu and then back to something else. Yes, then your home will have issues because there are files in there that it's trying to read and conflicts will happen so i'm the kind of guy that wants to have fun and no frustrations my option is clean install everything all the time whether it be linux windows or mac and get everything from the cloud again so your files are never on your c drive in windows or your sda here so everything is been cleaned out, washed out, overridden, and also viruses, spyware, everything is gone. You start afresh 
and then you get it back. It can be also, and of course, an, an external hard disk or anything else uh, physically near you in your, in your, uh, at your desk. But that's the best thing. But of course, it's all about freedom. So if you want to do it with a home partition, a separate one, for instance, because the home partition has, say, 4 terabyte, I don't know how much uh, space, and you'd like to do to keep that for some reason, then, of course, it's uh, up to you, entirely up to you. But for me, that's um, something I have not done, probably will not do in the future. But it's all up to you. Let's wait now till this thing stops installing. And we're ready to reboot. Restart now, done. You'll get back in the ISO, but we tell it to boot from Grub, boot existing OS, and we're off. So what did we create? Let's have a look. So our system is working, Ctrl T, that's the version we have version is not that important and let's go for a gparted gparted wants to know what to be pseudo and we'll give it that so this is now a three partition so we've cut logically not physically hopefully our partition in three elements first element is this guy which is going to be our root that's how we call root. In the home, the thing I just opened, eh? super shift return. This is my home, home Eric. It's actually on a different partition. So if this one breaks, the other one is still, um, well, we can open it and mount it and get our files. That's an idea. But of course, if it breaks, if this breaks, everything will break. It's just one big partition. So if it's really a hardware issue, everything is gone. And then the Linux swap. Now we have this here, which is um, if you need to have some more memory, if you're low on memory, swap will be used, all for hibernation and stuff like that. There you go, guys. This is our third video how to well divide these partitions into something that's that's workable for you. And you can of course make even more partitions. But here is where my complexity ends. This is um, where I stop at dividing and cutting up my hard disk in pieces. All right, enjoy.